What's up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley. Welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. These are general messages only, which means take what resonates, leave behind what does not. I've already gone and pulled your cards off camera. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to you because it's your story specifically, you can find all the information on how to reach me in the description box down below. So I've already pulled basically four cards. So two of which are the main theme, what it is that's going to be going on and what you need to know, which is temperance and the Ace of Swords. I asked for a card of advice, I got the Knight of Cups, and then I pulled another card on top of that for clarity, and I got the Four of Pentacles. So let's jump right into this. Temperance represents an, uh, a moderation of an ebb and flow. Temperance represents healing, alchemy, patience, restoration, balance. More so than anything, this is kind of a wait and see where things go kind of card, but it is balance. It is doing something patiently. So the things to pull out of this is that um, patiently and allowing things to happen on the course that they're supposed to happen. The Ace of Swords represents this aha epiphany moment. It represents um, this new truth that has come out. It is, so it's, it deals with the swords, which is the line of thought in the suit of tarot. It represents a new way of thinking, this epiphany moment, this aha, this new way of thinking. So it, it is advised in this specific tarot deck that it can be used as a weapon or a guide because it is a new beginning. Um, and you can use this to either hurt or harm somebody or or to aid them. It is always recommended to aid them. I'm never going to tell you otherwise. I'm never going to, on my channel, tell you, go out and fuck this person over because that's not what I'm doing. The Ace of Swords are really, really good cards to denote to at least some sort of justice. It represents victory. It represents triumph. It is a new way of thinking that would be a victory. And we have the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, um, the Ace of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but the Knight of Cups represents, he's a quester. He is somebody in his middle ground self, where you have the page that's a baby. The um, the Knight is in between adult and child, where it'd be like, an, uh, like a teenager, and the King is of his higher self. So we have a Knight. He is somebody that is traveling. All Knights are in pursuit of something, but more so the, the Knight of Cups is one of the best questers. He's like a hopeless romantic kind of person, and he would be questing for something. Once he has his Holy Grail, once he knows what that is, he doesn't stop pursuing it until he finds it. It's kind of like a Knight of Pentacles energy, but more so he is very passionate about this thing, and he will not stop pursuing until he either has it or he can't pursue it any longer. And then we got a card of... I'm going to read this after I tell you what I think is going on. So, getting Temperance and the Ace of Swords together, I feel like there is some sort of new truth that has come out, and it is, you are on the right course. I feel like you are going to, whatever whatever this is, you have a new idea of what you want to do, and it is, you, the way that you should go about doing this is what temperance is suggesting, which is to have patience, to continue doing things at the pace that you have been doing them, which is, I, I, would, I would assume for a lot of you, because you got the Nine of Cups as advice, these are slower moving energies, so I would suggest to you to take things slowly to see where things play out. It is having this new truth to something and then seeing where it plays out from there, but you are definitely questing for something. It could be a job or a relationship, any, 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 this is general. Take what take what resonates and leave behind the rest. But this could, if I was reading this for a relationship where the advice is don't settle for less, I kind of really don't like that kind of advice in this book because I don't feel, I don't feel like the Knight of Cups is somebody that necessarily settles. I don't really feel that the Knight of Cups is as advice. I feel maybe in some situations, but I more or less feel that the Knight of Cups is somebody. Um, that is incredibly, I, I see them as genuine, so I don't see that they're going to be taking on something that isn't true to their emotions, because they deal, do deal with emotions. I didn't get any negative energies to say that this person has ulterior motives in mind, or that you have ulterior motives in mind. Um, but this is definitely something where it is going to, you are going to need to conserve your energy for this, and that is why I pulled the the Four of Pentacles. So definitely in need of conserving your energy with this situation. It's not to say that this card can oftentimes represent a blockage. It can represent somebody that is very meticulously holding on to something, being obsessive with something, or it is something that they don't want to let go of. In this case, wealth being in the form of um, 
let, let's let's say that you have let's say that you know next month's rent is going up by two hundred dollars and that's that's new to you you're not used to it and you have to almost save up that he can come out for this the four of the four of um, pentacles can come up for this sort of situation where you are now aware of something you are aware of some new truth you are doing this in a slow process methodical manner again kind of hinted at that also with the knight of cups that you're doing this in a slow methodical manner because you have a truth about something and now it is about conserving your energy to make sure that you can reach your goal when you get there so this is more so less i feel like this is a very general like things seem to be going pretty well you have a new truth about something whatever that is it could be romance it could be a job it could be just in general in your mindset about goals but i feel like you have a new truth about something it is going to make you need a little bit more patience and you're going to need to conserve your energy to save up for what this is because i feel like you want to act on something or pursue something um again with the with the advice being don't settle for less i really would like to suggest that that's kind of something that the book says more than what I feel like this reading is indicating. In this kind of scenario, I feel like you are definitely going to... I don't see anything to say that this person is not worth pursuing, that the situation is not worth pursuing. But I feel like there is definitely some scenario in, where, in which you are making a choice about something with the Ace of Swords, having some new truth, and it is going... you In order to follow this, you have to conserve energy to lead up to where that gets to. So I am going to pull one more card for where... I already asked where does the four of... Um, I asked where the whole spread goes. In general, I got the four of pentacles. So I'm going to ask... When the star sign conserves the energy and saves up for what it is that they need to conserve their energy on, where does it go? Okay. There's going to be a little bit of... <laughs> we got the nine of swords. There is going to be a little bit... Uh, there is going to be a little bit of anxiety when this comes around. It is... I feel... I'm going to need a, a clarity card for the nine of swords, please. Why does this give the star sign the nine of swords feeling? Okay. All right. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. So I look at this in a certain way that I don't feel like a lot of people would immediately. I feel like you are scared. I feel like you aren't used to saving up or conserving this kind of energy. I feel like it is going to... I don't... I do, for some of you, I might hear delays, but I feel like this is something that... Whatever this new truth is, I feel like in for some cases, it's going to feel... It's going to feel very scary for, for some of you. It's going to be like um, an anxiety from the past type of thing. And I, I say that because I feel like... I, this is honestly, a, like, the two cards and the one card of advice by itself was really good by itself. In pulling extra, I kind of see this as um, an anxiety spread where we have had disappointment. There has been some sort of loss. I don't want to read this in the future tense as there's going to be some loss. But I feel like you are afraid of where something goes. I, th I feel like... Because for a lot of you in a situation where you have to save up for something that you did not see coming, it could be, for some of you, a shock, it could be a disappointment. For some of you, it could literally be an increase of rent or something, some sort of bill that drops with the Four of Pentacles being money. The de gener gener generally, I would still say that the advice still follows suit, and I would like one more card for overall outcome for where this goes. Okay. So we do have, at the end of all of this, we do have somebody taking back their power. We have somebody in their line of success. It could be an Aries individual. This comes up for a specific Aries individual. But this is a type of leadership quality where they gain, regain control of their domain. So this is a success spread, but there is going to be some sort of anxiety. And I don't want I really don't actually want to say delays, but I feel like there's going to be some sort of... <sighs> There's going to be some sort of disappointment. For some of you, it might actually be delays, but for, for the rest of you, I feel like this converse con conserving of energy, I feel like it might feel like a step back for a lot of you. I feel like you might think 
This is forward. This is not forward progress. This is taking a step back. When the end result does not say that, the end result says that you step into your line of power. But I feel like for a lot of you, having this new truth and going about it, going about what this new truth is, I feel like a lot of you are going to be a little bit, like a little bit shocked by it. A little bit. Uh, like I thought I was making progress, and now it kind of feels like I'm not. I would like to point out that in the Five of Cups, it represents somebody that is crying over spilt milk. There are three cups that have been spilt over, and two that are remain. If you can see it in the sliding, sorry, the Two of Cups are still here, remaining full and intact, meaning that he is crying over something that he thinks he has lost, but he hasn't fully lost. This is a partial loss. It is not a full loss. Um, with that being said, I do see this going in the route of the need for you to go slow is the key here is to be reserved with your time with your energy to make sure that you save up emotionally make sure that you are aware of your surroundings and make sure that you are aware of your situation especially financially because i feel like for some of you it is going to leave you a little bit like fearful but i am telling you that with the amount moderation with the right ebb and flow and with the right amount of balance you are going to be able to work this out to a pretty fucking high degree like the emperor is somebody that you want to see he comes up for presidents he comes up for kings and people that are like the head of the households like fathers father figures people that have this direct line of power so there is going to be a little a few bumps and bruises along the way i feel like this new truth is something that might scare you for for different reasons for a lot of you for some of it might be an actual like like oh i didn't see this person doing this and now we have to like i have to see where this goes or it is a financial thing and oh i wasn't saving up for this and now i gotta that kind of energy but i don't at the end of all of this we do have somebody that comes and reclaims his throne we do have somebody that has his line of power back and we do have somebody that knows how to have success it's a, it's a success card so the general overall message here is that things are going to be okay but expect some slight delays or some slight setbacks at first and then there will be forward progress with the um with the over what's the word the over bearing message that you have to do this patiently and you have to do this in moderation so let's see who this is for we got this for <laughs> remember when i said that it was an actual aries so for some of for not for some of you this is for the star sign of aries i have already said all that i need to and this is not bad energy i don't want to freak you out um i definitely do see things ending up in a, in a place where they are but let, let's say by the 5th, it's going to... It, this is not going to be a quick... This is not going to be a slow thing, like, in, in the way that it happens, because it's one to five days. But it is at the end of the, these five days, by February 5th, you should feel back into your line of power and back into your line of self. All right, that is it for Aries. I will see you later. Peace out, my mom tribe.